Hello and welcome to the Sprite Bump tool. Okay, this is a really cool new tool that we've just launched that allows you to create some really amazing looking normal maps and ambient occlusion maps for your character, for your 2D character. So let's start with creating new project. So click on create project and we're going to make a folder. Let's call it dragon test. And let's pick our dragon Im image from the exported JSON uh, JSON data folder. It also has a J uh, character image. So let's pick that character dragon. Okay. And click OK. Now Sprite Bump is now going to generate a normal and normal map and ambient occlusion map for you, a default one. And you can see when you bring it in, it already has a really cool 3D looking feel. Now if I hold down Alt and drag the mouse around, that drags the light. And you can see how your normal map responds to lighting in action. Okay, so this looks all right, but we can make it up, make it look a lot better with one of Sprite Bum's really amazing or innovative features. It's called the Smart Surface. So with Smart Surface, what happens is Sprite Bump will attempt to reconstruct a 3D depth or surface from your 2D image by approximating or inferring the lighting position. Okay, so when you check the Smart Surface check checkbox over here and click generate you need to get a, you're going to get a visually a more appealing effect like so look at this look at how how much more detailed the different protrusions on the dragon are right okay so that's pretty cool now we can probably change a couple things we can smooth it out so i'm going to increase the amount of smoothing on this character so I can up it to say 35. That's color smooth. That's going to smooth out some of the some of the protrusions to make it to give it a smoother feel. Okay. I can also increase the overall bevel by increasing the bevel factor, right? And that will make it stand out a bit more. And maybe I can smooth it out even more. So play around with these these initial general parameters of sprite bump to give it the look you actually care about. Okay. Right. Now if we switch to the view normal map mode, you can see our normal map generator for a dragon. Looks pretty cool. Right. Now let's go back. Now this looks great, but as you know, the dragon, or most dragons, if we were to imagine a dragon in real life, dragon should actually have some kind of wrinkle on its wings. So we're going to do just that. We're going to paint some wrinkle maps onto the dragon. And in, in order to do that on sprite bump, we're going to click on general and switch to paint texture. Okay, and then now I'm going to click on set texture and I'm going to pick a uh, preset texture. I have something called lava. I believe this could work. So this is sort of a lava, lava texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the brush strength, increase the fall off radius just a bit, and say maybe increase the depth. So this will determine how much, how strong, how much depth we're going to apply from our input texture we're going to paint on the wing. Alright, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start just coloring parts of the wing and see what we get. And see that? You actually get some kind of wrinkle on the wing. That's pretty cool. So all I need to do, all I need to do now is to paint the rest of the wing to get the nice wrinkly effects on the rest of the dragon's wing. Okay, so let's zoom out. Let's do the same, let's do the same thing for the torso. Alright, so I'm going to do it for the neck or torso or the body, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to paint out these wrinkly, wrinkly bumps, reflects on the dragon's torso, and I'm going to do the I'm going to do the same thing for the legs. Okay, so now it's got that, and probably the tail. Why not? Right? Why not? I'm going to paint it for the tail. Okay, and the other leg. Let's paint that up. It's really easy and quick to apply these paint these different textures onto your characters in Sprite Bump. So if I move the light around, oh look, it's now having a nice wrinkly texture, scaly, well not scaly, but wrinkly texture on the body of the dragon. Okay, so that's great. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to generate the ambient occlusion map. All right, so go to the ambient map mode and click Generate. Actually, I'm going to add, apply a smoothing factor first. Okay, so so it's it, it, it's it's more it's better behaved. Now smoothing to 25 and click generate, and it should generate for us. There you go, an ambient occlusion map. We're going to use this later for lighting as well. Okay, so now we have the ambient occlusion map. We have the normal map, 
Okay, we painted some nice wrinkly textures on parts of the dragon, and we're going to preview it first before we bring it into Unreal Engine. So go to the animation preview mode, and this time around, click, click load creature animation. And remember, I exported the dragon, right? So the dragon has a JSON file. Pick that JSON file, click open. Okay, and there you go. Here is our dragon. If I move the light around, you can see how the dragon looks like, right? And in particular, if I zoom in, you can actually see the soft shadowing effects from the ambient occlusion pass. See that soft shadow shadowing effect on the bones, on the wings of the dragon? That's what you get from ambient occlusion. If we turn off ambient occlusion, it's a lot less prominent, right? So turning that on gives us a much more realistic look, almost 3D-like. So here's how the dragon looks like. Now, if I turn off the lighting, you can see dramatically how different the dragon looks. It looks like a flat image because it is a flat image. It was a 2D character image, right? But if I turn on the lighting with the normal maps, you get this really dramatic look, this 3D dragon look from a 2D image. That's really cool. And that is the power of using Sprite Bump in conjunction with creature animation. And this allows you to create 2D characters that respond really, really well to all kinds of lighting effects in your 3D engine in Unreal or Unity or any other 3D engine you're using. Okay, so all right. So now we have the normal maps and the ambient occlusion maps, and all we all we need to do all we need to do is to export it. So click on File, and then Export, and then check the options. Click on Export, pick a folder, and that will throw in the normal ambient occlusion maps into that folder, and then we're off to Unreal Engine to set up the dragon.